guys, welcome back to the Sleeping the Chicken and YouTube channel. I'm Brooke. And I'm Kimberly. And today is Labor Day in the US, which means that it is September 6th. I mean, Labor Day isn't always on September 6th. But in 2021 it is. Mm, yes, it is in 2021. <laughs> and where are we in the United States, Brooke? Uh, we're from Haymarket, Virginia. Did you say what episode we were? No, I did not. <laughs> What's our episode? <laughs> 18. Mm -hmm. Episode 18. Uh, welcome to our crafty YouTube channel, primarily knitting. Sometimes we have other stuff in there. Crochet, cross stitching, uh, looking Jewelry. around. I mean, I don't, yeah, lots of things. Primarily knitting is what you're going to see. Brooke um, does not knit or mainly do any of the crafts. She is my comedic entertainment and she makes me laugh and she holds things up and... Welcome to the new viewers. Thank you for coming to check us out. And welcome back to the people who have been watching us for a while. So you kind of already know how it already goes. You can find me on Ravelry at K Armini, just my first initial last name. And you can find us on Instagram at Sweet Pea and Chickadee. You're talking now like extra stuff. I know. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> You're like, you can find me okay. at K Armini, first initial <laughs> last name. <laughs> Is it too slow? Cause like I can't tell. Okay, you guys. So last episode, I spent. I mean, I speed talk a lot, and that's just who I am. I'm always a speed talker. I really sped talk. I think because I knew we had a lot to get through. So I was. I even amped it up a notch. <laughs> and I listened while I was editing, and I was listening to it back. I was like, oh dear, I don't know if I even know what I was saying sometimes. And so I'm like, oh geez. Um, and so I know some of you had a hard time listening. I know a lot of you, if you use your iPad or iPhone to watch, you can slow down the speed <laughs> to be able to listen to me, which I'm sorry, but you can't do that on your uh, TV. So, but I speed talked like I've always done it. So for me, slowing down feels really slow. And I don't know I'm how slow is too slow or how slow is normal. Like I, I don't, which is funny because I used to be an elementary school teacher and I did have to slow down, but that was like, I feel like that was easier talking to a group of, you're like waiting for their responses anyways. So I'm trying to enunciate certain things and I don't know why I have a hard time with it. So I am sorry if it sounds like I'm talking too slow, I guess it's better than too fast. You can still understand what I'm saying if I'm talking too slow. It just feels like I'm listening to an audio But sometimes, <laughs> but sometimes, I'll be like thinking I talked really slow and then I'll listen to it back and it was normal speed. And I'm like, oh, it wasn't slow. I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. I'm working on it. <laughs> it's a personal growth of mine. Yeah, we practice. I'm working on it. I'm yeah. practicing. I'm practicing. So I if it mom, sounds like. I give mom a sentence and if she says it too fast, <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 no. And then I flash it back up. So, and I told Brooke, she has to tell me if I'm talking too fast, but she was like, this is normal. She like, cause I, I raise them. Too. Well, I raise them to hear me. <laughs> so. And also I speed talk. People tell me I speed talk all the time. <laughs> because I taught that too. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I like speed talking. So I'm sorry guys. If it's too slow, if it's too fast, I'm working on it. And as always, if you hear bells or things running around, it's either a dog or a cat. Um, so anyways, let's get right into it. I would like to make an announcement, first of all, um, because a lot of what I'm going to talk about, see, I almost went fast. <laughs> a lot of what I'm going to talk about is, has to do with Rhinebeck because I'm going to Rhinebeck. Cue the confetti. Yay. Anyways, Brooke's not going because she, uh, we're going, I'm going on a girl's trip with all of my friends and where we rented a house and we're going for the whole time. It's going to be so fun and Brooke de uh, opted to decline <laughs> spending a weekend with a bunch of older ladies talking That's about knitting. That's not true. It's more like you guys are going to be knitting <laughs> and what am I going to do? Just sit there on my phone? Like look like Brooke likes going to the ones that are local that I can take her to for the day when we come home. Like for a few hours we're there but like a whole weekend was a bit much and I hear Ryan Beck is pretty intense so I don't think Brooke would enjoy it as much as me. So <laughs> you'll see half of Sweet Pea and Chickadee. You'll see Sweet Pea. Are you Chickadee? I am too. You'll see a sweet pea there. And I was I was telling everybody that I might like get a, like a little sign poster of Brooke's head or something. So that if people want pictures, we can be like, chickadees here in the background. Like with my group of friends, we can have She's our like, pictures. You're gonna be like walking around like each stand. They're gonna be like, so who's that? It's like, oh, my daughter. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. <laughs> anyway. 
anyways okay so go right back yay i'm going with all my knit night friends i'm going with raging pearl wind uh-oh brooke just me i went fast sorry going with all of my friends i'm going with raging pearl wind i'm going with scrappy angel i'm going with whiskers and stitches i'm going with kate who was on episode i believe eight for our interview sessions um oh my gosh am i leaving somebody out Kate, Rebecca, me. Nope, that's it. Five of us. Yay. And actually, there's more people going. <gasps> there's more people going, but they're like all going with other groups and we're all going to meet there. And it's just so, I'm so excited. It's going to be so much fun. Took time off work. We've already booked everything. And we're going to be at Indie Untangled. We got tickets for Indie Untangled. Oh, it's just going to be so fun. Anyways. Okay. So let's go into our first foes, right, Brooke? That's the foe. Yeah, that's the foe. <laughs> I have one photo. It they are my August DVD socks. Yay! What's this colorway called, Brooke? Do you remember what I said? It's um, a cute name. Is this uh, llamas in pajamas? Yep, Zom llamas in pajamas. Oh my god, I got it right. I That's know. crazy. Do you want to show it up? Um, I mean, I could. I mean, it's your job, but okay. All right. So this is a Desert Vista Dye Works colorway. Um, it is a two by two rib cuff, 64 stitch cast on, just vanilla for like, I think it's like three and a half inches for, uh, afterthought heel rounded wedge toe. And yeah, I love the, I love this colorway and I love llamas and <laughs> that's why I bought She does color. love llamas. She and I love her it. zombie line because her zombie line, if you know Desert Vista Dye Works, has to do with the speckling. Mm -hmm. So like this is green decomp, I think, and this is like purple decomp or whatever stripes. Oh wait, no, they're both purple. I don't know. Sorry, um, but I like how there's two different colors of stripes. Speckle, not stripes. Speckle, yeah, speckle stripes. See how this one's lighter and thinner, and this one is thicker and darker. I like it. See, his mom's trying to talk slower. She's also forgetting how to talk. I know. Mm -hmm. See, I because my brain thinks faster. Yeah, you talk. And so I have to too. slow down, and then I get off track. Of what yeah, how do you think presenting is like, mom? Because every single time I, I, I like will fake like a, like a, I like fake a presentation or like not fake it, but like I'll go to mom and I'll like talk it through, and she's like, slow down. I'm like, okay, mom. Well, who taught me how to speed up? And I'm like, Sorry. Um, yeah. So these are my socks for August, and I love them so much. Now, Desert. If you don't know, Desert Vista Dye Works does like a monthly knit along. For people who want to participate, you need to knit a pair of socks each month. You start on the beginning of the month, you end at the end of the month. You have to submit it all on Ravelry. You can tag stuff on Instagram. You have to use her yarn. That's really the only prereq. And then also- It can't be shorty socks. Can't be shorty socks. There has to be like a three inch leg. Those are like four, four and a half, because I'm starting to go a little shorter. Because I like, I prefer shorty socks. So no matter winter time or anything like that. Um, and then what you do is you submit it each month and then you earn um, percents off and also free skeins of yarn. So it's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and she's primarily known for her striped colorways, but she has like sock blanks and variegated and pure speckles. So she has all sorts of stuff. So go check her out. She's awesome. All right, guys. Now we're moving on to whips, which are works in progress. Whips. So okay. our first one, I think, is going to be our September DVD socks, mm -hmm. which is uh, what we just previously talked about. With mm -hmm. I just talked about it. So that was August. This, this is September. And I actually saved this colorway for this month because it school is started. school started. And it's and something with buses. Yeah. You want to read it? Zombody driving the school bus. Zombody's driving the school bus. <laughs> you want to show the label? I'm not on the bus. I make my mom drive me to school. Mm -hmm. ding, ding. Is it like focusing? We like dimmed the lights a little bit because they were super bright on us, but now I'm like, I don't know. So sorry if it's a little. Should we brighten them? No, today's today it's should be a weird, messy podcast. Yeah, sorry guys. We had lighting issues last time, and then this time it feel like it felt like it they were too bright, and now it looks a little darker. It's okay. Anyways, so Brooke, you want to show up the colorway? I just started the first sock. My normal sixty four two by two rib. I did it for eighteen rows, and then yeah, I like it. It's, it's like school busy, obviously, like kind of fall. I like it. And this is her like, little trailer stitch marker that she got in her. Don't tell me. Yardable. Nope, that was a row one. What? Because row one gives you the row little... Row one gives you a stitch marker? Every time. I thought that was... Sometimes yardable gives you a stitch marker, but not every time. I can't keep... I know, I have a lot of 
Oh, you're not. And it's in my scrappy angel peekaboo bag. One of my favorites for socks. There's no extra pockets and it's just purely this, which I like how simple and small it is. And I can see through it. I can see my beautiful yarn. Okay, what's next, Brooke? What next should I grab is next? the Autumn League yes. Pullover by Two of Wands. All right, so I was doing this for the... Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. Uh, it was a knit along. Yeah, it was a knit along for, with the with the mother and daughter, mm -hmm. right? Strings attached. Yeah, strings attached. So that ended at the end of August. So obviously, I did not make it in time, but that's okay. Um, it's also in a scrappy angel. This is a blanket tote. It is huge. It's so um, I've actually made quite good progress. I think I'm. Um, yarn. Oh yeah, you want to say the yarn? yarn? I always, I can never, I always forget what it is, but it's um deep indigo and it's cotton jeans, which is mommy always tell a lion brand. Oh my god, mm -hmm. I said it before she said you it. Did lion brand. And this is the yarn that's called for in the pattern. And I am seriously like so. Look at this. Okay, so the best part is the sweatshirt V type detail on the front. You can like barely see. It's hard with this dark color, but um, I'm look at how much I've done. Like, so I got pretty close, although it's got long sleeves, but I'm about nine, you have to do 11 and a half inches down from the underarm, and I've got like a little over nine, so I'm almost there before I do the ribbing. And here's where I was, Brooke, do you want to point out where I was last time I showed it? Ah, uh, right here where the little stitch marker So I've made a lot of progress. Stitch marker. Yeah, and I just put the long sleeves on it, and the, it's like a, I think it's a folded over collar. And also what I'm doing here, I have it marked, you can kind of see down here is that this is supposed to be, I don't want to give away the pattern, but this is not supposed to be knit in the round. And I converted it to knit in the round. I got this idea actually from Mallory of, it's a dog, so Mallory of Strings Attached. She got it from another person. I'm going to tag all that below on Ravelry where I'm getting this idea from. <laughs> um, it's the, it's supposed to be a seam there. It's supposed to reinforce um, the structure and I'm doing a faux seam. So we have to like add in a stitch and mark it so you know kind of thing. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to try it. And if I, if I think it doesn't really work that well, then I'll just leave it. Yep. But yeah, it's really awesome. Uh, it looks really cozy and I really want to wear it. It'll look really cute on you. Yeah. And if you want to know, I'm doing in between. So there's only three sizes, like an extra small, small, medium, large, and then an extra large, extra, extra large. I'm doing in between the medium, large and the extra large, extra, extra large. So I knew the, the extra large would be too big, but the medium large would fit too more fitted. And I want it to be more loose sweatshirty, but not hang on me. So mm -hmm. I kind of just added in more, kind of winged it. <laughs> I guess we'll see. I think it's gonna turn out great. I'm really excited about it. Um, I've been knitting, cause it's just simple sock and knit all the way around. So I've been knitting this whenever I uh, have to stop on my other sweaters. I've got two other test knits going on, two. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Two. Which one do we want to talk all about? All right, first? the test knit dainty lion sweater. And another scrappy angel bag. Are they all in scrappy angel bags? Yep. That's what I thought. And this is a retreat bag, large. It's got the wire top, but soft everywhere else. Um, I put my dainty lion here. Look, I love it how it just sit open like a bucket and it stands up, even though it's just wire top. Everything else is soft. Um. I am all done with the body of my Dainty Lion sweater. This is a, I'm testing this for Raging Pearl Wind. This is her new sweater pattern. And this is the yarn, Brooke. The yarn is, is it the Fiber Company? Well, the Fiber Company and then Cereo. I think it's Cereo. Mm -hmm. And it is sport wave, but the, the Fibri content is 40% alpaca, 40% cotton, and 20% wool. So soft. And what what's the color? I think it's blessful. Yeah, blessful. Blessful. It's like a navy blue. Very pretty. So here is the sweater. So it's hard to see. You can kind of see it. Oh good, the light's helping. Like, oh, that's a marker. Um, you can see the lace detail, the Pico cast on, so pretty and dainty. And this is so light and soft. And I am not scratchy. Like I can't handle scratchy and I was kind of worried because it doesn't feel super soft. I mean, it feels soft, but you know, but then when it works up, it is like, you put it on, it's like wearing a cloud. It's so nice. So here's the full, there's even some lace detail down below. You can't really, oh, there you can kind of see it. 
I am doing, they have a long sleeve version and a short sleeve version. So Rebecca asked me to do this short sleeve version, which I love. I'm just about to do the ribbing and then I could do the other sleeve and then I'm done. I want to walk on a cloud. And I think we're going to be wearing this to Rhinebeck. That's one of my Rhinebeck sweaters. So that should tell you, I need three Rhinebeck sweaters. I need one for Indian Tangled, one for Saturday, one for Sunday. You know, you know, um, this is one day. In uh, back when I was younger, I used to watch My Little Pony, only Pegasus, like Pegasi, they could only walk on clouds. Yeah, I want to be that. <laughs> okay. Those are, I, I was waiting for like what the point of that story was. Well, you said it's like, it's like, um, having a cloud, and I was like, I want to walk on a cloud, like the My Little Pony. Yeah, Rainbow Dash, man. She was like with the clouds, man. All right, the next is hey. a test knit. True color sweater by Isabel. Mm, mm. It's Isabel, so I don't know her last name, but her um handle is I think it's Bray Belly. It'll be it'll be in the link. It's She's so. from Antwerp, so um that's probably why I wouldn't be able to pronounce her last name anyway. So it's Isabel and her handle is Bray Belly. It's in Tarje. In Tarja. Okay, so I said it right wrong. I normally don't do more than one test at a time, but I saw this and I was like, I have to have this for Ryan Beck. And I was almost done with Rebecca's anyways. Like I was even at a point where I had to stop and wait for some more instructions. So, and I just got, I'm almost done with the first short sleeve. I did that in a night. And so it won't take me long to finish. Um, so that this one, this is another scrappy <laughs> angel. <laughs> you like, I obviously like my color raises. I like the pear one, but look how full it is. It's still got more room. I've got so much yarn in here, guys. You're going to see. Okay, so this this is the yarn that she made her sample out of, and I really wanted to try it. Um, it is, let me just hand you one that has a label, Brooke. Drops Air. Drops Air. Mix. And this, so the main color, I'm going to show them to you first, and then Brooke can show you the colors. So I had to stop because I'm waiting for another color to come. But it's in Tarja. And I'm doing the largest size. She needed, it's or, had, or the test that had already started. And so she needed, I probably would have done the large size anyway, the extra large size, but she needed somebody for the extra, extra large. And I'm like, actually, I saw the sweater and I think it'd be really cute as an oversize. Mm -hmm. And um, so yeah, then I can wear a shirt underneath too. So it is. Intarja, and then there's like a detail on this, the Intarja detail is on one shoulder sleeve. And then, so what you do is you work flat until it's done and then it's the regular in, in, mm -hmm. in the round. So I'm doing the Intarja first, and this is my first ever Intarja, so I don't look it up, and it's actually not hard, guys. I don't know why it seems so scary. I was like, oh, that's it. Um, so here are my first two colors. My main color is what? That's the color you're holding, Brooke. It just says it's 15 purple. It's drops air purple. 15 purple. I think it's, yeah. 15 purple haze. Oh, right. I didn't see that yeah. part. 15 purple haze. Number 15 purple haze. And Brooke, do you want to hold up this part so you can see all the different colors of purple in there? It's so pretty. It's like a lavender, but with like blue specks, like periwinkle. Oh, you can't really see the light. Um, so what happened was I ordered, I had ordered this from a Spas Trico in Canada because apparently it's hard to find drops because it's not American. Drops are in the States. So I ordered from a Spas Trico and I, I need three colors for the shoulder and Tarja. Mm -hmm. I knew I definitely wanted the purple as the main color. And so I had to go, the colors had to go with that. And so I was having a hard time choosing which three colors to go together, especially when you're looking at a computer screen. I've never seen them in person. So I ordered four because they're not very expensive. And I knew I would get them for something else. So I ordered four colors and I did not love any of the combinations that I had. I knew I definitely wanted the two colors I have here. So here's where it starts. This is navy blue. Mm -hmm. And this is, I think, number 20 rosa or rose. I've seen it both ways. What did you say? Rosa. Oh yeah. <laughs> so those are the two colors. Now I'm, I'm at the point where I need to stop because the third color is going to enter in. I had ordered this color, which is peacock blue number 11. And also I had ordered, I think it's forest green number 19. I'd ordered those two and I did not love 
She didn't like the combination. I didn't love any did. of them. I didn't like this one was probably the best, and I didn't love it. I initially wanted this, but I thought maybe this would be too close together darkness wise, so and I don't ordered, love it. So she ordered four more colors. So I ordered more. <laughs> I just like from a different place, which I thought was a little. I thought it was more local, but it's not. It's coming from UK. So, mm. but the shipping was okay. And actually, a splash Rico, If you guys ever want to order from there, at like a flat shipping rate, so you know you should order a lot. But also, it's super fast. I ordered it on yeah. Thursday, and I got it on Tuesday, and that's from Canada. So we all know it can sometimes take some time going both ways so i ordered i'm like you know i don't love it and they're not ex um expensive and i want that's like the main feature i want i want to yeah. love the colors so i ordered four more colors that should be here next week and it's not like you're not going to use it for anything in the future no and i actually have so much so like these i'm gonna have most of all left over when i'm done with it anyway so i really have these colors and then four more coming i think i'm gonna put them together and do some sort of like like just a regular raglan top down striped or something something fun with all these colors um so they don't go to like waste or anything um but i ordered another blue but it's like more like a lavender periwinkle blue which i think is me the one i'm going to choose i also ordered a yellow which could be gold and i wasn't sure i ordered oh it's like sea glass green and you ordered a gray and i ordered like a medium gray which i think the gray might be the backup but um we'll see but I, I literally have eight balls of this i don't know if i'll go with the gray though because i feel like it would like it it's like a dark yeah i know yeah i'm gonna have to see yeah, it yeah i don't think it's it wouldn't like i don't know it i'm gonna have to see it together purple yeah you, i can't have it blank it's like a main feature mm -hmm. anyways um if you want to see the sweater bray belly has it on her instagram it's so pretty i'm so excited to be testing um but this bag is stuffed right i have four balls of this so you had eight balls of that yeah sorry eight balls of this and then four balls of these other colors so that's 12 balls and i have the whole sweater and all the needles and everything in here i mean it's not like a whole sweater like so i'm paused right now i'm waiting for the yarn so i'm gonna pause on this test and i'm going back to my other one to finish the short sleeves so yeah my first atarja it is coming along really nice and i love it it's gonna be so great so that's rhinebeck sweater number two see but now i need a third one which is gonna go into dream knitting. And you'll see the pickle dilemma I'm in. But first, what's the next? Acquisitions. Acquisitions. We're going to Yarn Club. Oh yes, yeah. so when we went on our trip, we only showed half the yarn I purchased on that trip. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so this, today I'm gonna show you what I bought at Yarn Club. Yarn Club was where, Brooke? Uh, Virginia Beach. It was in Virginia Beach. We didn't like stop. We stopped there for lunch and to go to Yarn Club. Basically, we like segue because we were on our way to Cape Charles, and I heard my friend Kate was like, "Check out Yarn Club." I'm like, oh, "Okay, oh my gosh, it was amazing. The selection was intense. I got so I got like two projects plus other things. I saw yarn that I had never seen in person before. It was awesome, and they have a really cool dog." I, was like, I wasn't there, but I A really heard. giant dog that, like, comes around. It's really cute. Okay, so first up, I'm going to show you my first project, which is a flying foxtail. Hi, Kate. <laughs> so Kate and I decided we were going to do the flying foxtail by um, Stephen West together. And then she started it. I never even had the yarn, and I think she's probably almost done with it. And I just got the yarn, and I still haven't started it. Um, But I wanted the... Because he has like this melted surrey by Ching Fiber. And I'd never seen it before. I didn't really want to order it, but they had it there. I couldn't believe it. So I got those three to make. Brooke, do you want to show it? What's the colorway? Mm. It's melted surrey. It's like their specialty. Melted surrey dirt. Dirt, is that what it's called? Yep, it's a dirt. Nice. It's got purples in it. This looks more rosy purple, but it looks brown on camera. And then I got the fibrous, which are local to me. Um, hopper fingering made out of what, Brooke? 16% Ovaris Aries Merino, 20% Coinese. 60% oh. Merino wool, 20% cultivated silk. Am I reading an ancient language? You are reading an ancient language. Anyways, this is colorway uh, rose gold. And so it's gonna, it's gonna, it's a brio shawl. And it'll be these will be the two colors. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. 
Um, okay, and then I saw Life in the Long Grass, which I've never seen in person. I was so excited. They have a whole, they had a whole bunch, and what they also had was their silk merino blend. Oh my gosh, this is so soft and so pretty. It is 50% silk, 50% superwash super merino. merino. Do you want to tell them what the colorway is called, Brooke? Cockle shell? Cockle shell. It's like a shell. Okay. Cockle shell. Okay. Anyways, hold the color book. I'm going to make... I know. It's so pretty. It's like purples and greens and creams. Oh my gosh. And blue. So pretty. I'm going to make the cocoa tea by Sari Nordland and it's gonna be amazing. It's like a sh three quarter length short sleeve, kind of a boxy tee. She just released it like, I think July, August. And I only need for my size, which is larger, three skeins. I love tees that are like, oh, two, three skeins. Cause I have a lot of two, three skeins, but I, and I really wanted this and the cockle shell kind of signified our trip, like our beach trip. Mm. So it'd be great. I'm gonna make the cocoa tea out of that. And the other ones I just grabbed just because. So the um, Sheep Graffiti is a brand that uh, the yarn club, it, like it's their house yarn. This is called Thunderstruck. It's really pretty. It's like a, oh, what's that type of yarn called? Oh my gosh, I'm totally blanking. What's it oh, called? Tweety? No, it's, I mean, it looks kind of tweety. It's, um, I mean, it's called their Lumpy Bumpy U, but it's, oh my gosh, you guys. What's this called? <laughs> I forget. You guys know what this is called. The like bumpy stuff. Oh my gosh. You probably put it like that. I'm going to put it right here. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. But it's so pretty. I really like this one. And I've always wanted to use some. Like you hold it. You can either use it to get by itself or you can hold it with something for like a hat. It gives it texture. I really like. And then I love woolen vinyl. Love woolen vinyl. And they had a whole bunch there. The colors I was looking for, they didn't have publicly because they were sold out. Mm -hmm. But I really like a lot of hers and so I decided on this which smells like teen spirit yes love wool and vinyl it's like another peachy I got like two peachy colors on this trip so mm -hmm. I'm getting there guys with the orange and then oh my gosh I couldn't believe when I walked by I'm like oh, they have skein cocaine I am a huge fan of skein cocaine she is so cool the only thing is the colorway was not on here it's, it's her hot sock base and Skin Cocaine doesn't, I don't think she dyes a ton, so it's like hard to get her stuff. And she has the baby grand, so she makes these huge skeins, like a whole sweater in one skein. Um, I think this is her the special colorway, where it's like all of her colors, I think. But I love it. Oh my gosh. So I had to get that because I like I never see it. <laughs> I was so excited. And that's it. So I got all of that at one store. And that was the last store after I'd already spent all the other money mm -hmm. on it. But in my, I really only got three randos and two other projects that I've been need, wanting to do. So yeah. I felt really like. Proud of yourself. Well, respond, like I was buying responsibly. Like these are projects I was actually already going to do. I was just waiting for the yarn. So I didn't put that other one back in there. All right. Next one is row one, which we have, I think we have two row ones. Yes, but I'm only, I'm going to do that one. I'm going to do this month's up in our next podcast. And then last month's here. All right. So we're going to show you last month's row one, August, because I didn't show it last time. And I want to show it this time. All right. And again, sorry for crinkling. We always have that crinkling. Okay. This is what it comes in. I, I don't even think I've opened this actually. Maybe I put it back. I haven't opened the other one. So when you pull it out of the bag, you get like this little goodie bag and then you get the yarn. Who is it? Ashen Bumble. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Brooke, do you want to open and pour that out so we can go over the colors? Crinkling, guys. Wait, what is the opening? It's like, yeah. This is my favorite part is reading the color mm -hmm. names. It's, real, it's a lot of fun. So we got some Razzles candy. We always get like a little sweet treat and then a little um, stitch markers and ice cream cone. Aw. Cute. A little ice cream cone. I don't know if you can even see that. All right. Okay. Colors. Hold on. Let me. Um, so then you also get a paper. Don't stick my thunder mom. It shows the logo. Ashen Bumble. Talks about her yarn. Gives her a little info about Ashen Bubble. Bumble. 
talks about her yarn and also lists the names. And then Brooke's gonna show you. And also the names and the dyer and the names are also on each skein, which is great. Mm -hmm. This is a club, sorry, for row one. You get 10 10 gram minis from a different indie dyer every month. Mm -hmm. So it's great for scrappy projects. I've, we've made socks just out of these. Um, heels, toes, and cuffs for blankets, for whatever, color work. This is also good if you like, kind of like, have been looking at a dyer for a long period of time and you just didn't really know if you would like their yarn because of course like you really only see it on pictures and like mm -hmm. it's always different on pictures this is something great because like you can like you just get like, a little sample of it and then you can like see if you want to buy more of their stuff later and it's really great too because if you've been following them and you know them and you've always wanted to try certain colors it's usually one of the colors they send like one of their more mm -hmm. popular colors you're like oh i've always wanted to see this color and you get to see it a little sample so you know yeah. if you want to buy more all right this one is climbing ivy it's a good olive green. This one is copper patina. It's what now? Copper patina. Oh, I said it kind of. No, you did. This is evening sky. This one's pretty. Look at that one. I like that one. This is flowering cactus. Like turn it around. You can see like the bold pops of purple and stuff. That's really pretty. This is English garden. This is Iris. I keep like repeating like this is. <laughs> the name of this one <laughs> is Travel Map. I like that color. The title of this one <laughs> is Vintage Teacup. The name that this is called <laughs> is Copper Penny. The address of this one is Golden Honey. And I think that's the last one. Yep, that's it. So that was a good Ashen Mobile. I love, I think I saw her a lot on Crazy Sock Lady. Um, I really like, I wanted to try all of her stuff. So this is really pretty. I'm really excited about this one. Mm -hmm. um, also, so that's it for row one. Go check her out if you want to. You can always like cancel any time. I think the first month you get like some sort of discount. So go, try, go check it out. It's not, it's fairly inexpensive for all the stuff you get. Um, also... I had my birthday month last month we talked about. I, I went over some of my gifts, but I forgot because I had it packed in my stuff still. Um, my BFF Jackie has sent me a birthday present because we do birthdays and we live like far away from each other. Um, she got me a garnet. I don't know if you guys have seen these. It's like an enclosed yarn ball that'll sit there. You can also like carry it around and wear it as a purse. So I actually brought it to the beach and used it. It was really great. Um, you just open it up, put your skein in there, and there's like holes where the yarn can come out of. And if you take this off, there's like a little storage spot to like put some notions or whatever you want in there. So yeah, it's really great. And purple's her favorite color. She knows. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jackie. I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot about my yarn it. Okay. All right. And then next is Amanda D. Yes. Amanda's D staff show my oh. good friend Amanda from work. Well, she's we were she used to work together. She is moving and she likes to D stash and instead of selling it, she just sends it to me, <laughs> <laughs> which is really awesome. So I actually got a ton, a ton, a ton of stuff. And let's just go quickly. I mean, like she bolt. Look at this. I can't even fit it back into the box. It's like pouring out. So love you, Amanda. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I don't even, I almost want to see what, cause some of this is like leftover, like extras that she had left over. And I want to know like what she made with it. Cause mm -hmm. these colors are amazing. So I'm like, Oh, I want to see what she made. So, okay. This one, I really like this color, but I like this color. Yeah, it's pretty color. Um, yeah, go ahead and say what it is. I got like a bunch of those. This is organic cotton and it's onion knit. Mm -hmm. Um, there's really no name, but does it have like a number. Oh, Sometimes they have numbers. No, it has like 30. Color, color 126. Oh, well, I didn't see that. I know, it's like inside. It's really pretty. It's like a mauve. It, it's really cool when Amanda sends me stuff too because she buys the yarns that I've never heard of. Heard of or used or whatever. And so I'm like, oh, this is really cool. I love, I love when she sends me stuff. Plus it's, you know, free. Mm. Although I need to buy her like lunch or something i mean i need to buy you lunch amanda because she also pays for the shipping and i'm like oh my gosh i should at least give her something 
So I got a bunch of the. This I actually got a bunch of colors. Ocolosh sticks. Oh, some Yeah, you're butchering that. Just hold it up. Seventy percent organic merino, thirty percent organic cotton. So I got that color. I got mainly that color, and then like these colors. Like, so she must have made something in this color, and then use those. Oh my gosh. Like, I want to know what it is. <laughs> it's so pretty. Like, I got a bunch of those. So I can make, I, I'm like going to make something with that. Just that. And then I got three of these. Oh my goodness. I love this color. This is Ranger Merino. No, I got four. Yarn. Um, three ply DK. Three ply DK. Kingfisher Green. And it is 90% Merino wool and 10% Rambouille. Rambouille? Wool. Okay, no. Um, it's, it's a free fly DK and it's an echo echo view fiber mill, which is in USA. It's coming off like more blue on this on the hair. But oh yeah. It's, actually, like a, it's like a forest green. Yeah, it's like a dark forest green. And I got four of these. I'm like, oh my gosh. I can make a whole <laughs> like she sends me like D stash, but like whole I can make whole items out of the stuff she sends me. I'm like, oh my gosh. They're not just like single off skeins. Like she gives me whole projects. Thanks, Amanda. And I told her, I was like, even if it's something I would use, um, I could always use it as a giveaway, but she keeps sending me stuff that I don't want to give away. <laughs> so I'm like, I'll probably end up keeping them. Um, but yeah, so thank you, Amanda. Oh my gosh, I love them. She's got such great color sense. Love it. And she like whips out sweaters like nobody's business. She's so fast. She's one of those um, people that like monogamous knitters that knit one thing at a time, but it doesn't matter because she finishes a sweater in a week. So I'm like, can you even put it back in? How did she get this thing closed? There you go. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, thank you. All right. Now, last but not least, you guys, I got a surprise in the mail. <gasps> I get to preview it. They said can I could. Yes. They said I could. Okay. 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 So I knew this cult lab was happening. Collab? <laughs> supposed to be called collab <laughs> I, knew I knew this, this coat lab <laughs> <laughs> guys 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 no, no no i knew this coat lab was happening it's just collab, collab. like collaborate yeah i know uh, i knew this collab is that better <laughs> I'll say, I'll say. Okay, so we knew that this collab was happening. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, it was very exciting when it came in the mail because we were really confused because we were like, oh my gosh, um, why Holly. didn't Holly? From Whiskers and Stitches. Okay, so I knew this was happening, this group thing. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. I say it right in my head. It's because I'm slowing down. Mm, mm -hmm. I think, maybe. <laughs> I now I'm going to be like super paranoid when I'm going to say that word. <laughs> I knew this collaboration. That's better. I know how to say the big word. <laughs> I knew it was happening like back in whenever, like spring, I think, spring. So we knew it was happening. I just didn't know the details. I didn't know when, I didn't know like anything. And then all of a sudden I get this box in the mail from Holly, Whiskers and Stitches. And I'm like, I, I didn't order anything from Whiskers and Stitches. And it's a really big box anyways, because she does stitch markers. So I was like, oh my gosh. Very well packaged. And so I'm like, oh, what is this? So I open up and oh my gosh, you guys, it's happening. The collaboration of, and I tried to like make it look nice again and it didn't work. They had it packaged so beautifully. Anyways, um, I opened it up. I was like, oh, as soon as I saw Amplifiber, I knew it was the collaboration, like what they had worked mm -hmm. on together. And I'm like, and I hadn't seen it. Like I had seen a preview of the fabric that Scrappy Angel was gonna use. That's another hint. It is a collaboration between Amplifiber Yarns, Scrappy Angel. Scrappy Angel. And Whiskers and Stitches. And Whiskers and Stitches. And it is amazing. Like, I can't even. Okay. So, what it comes with, this is going to be a, I believe, a pre order kit or some sort of kit. I mean, it's a kit you can order, right? I, so, I think it might be pre order. I don't want you know. Oh my gosh. So, it came with a tea. And also, I didn't want to like, I'm, it's all in packaging, but I'm going to open it up for you guys. I haven't, I haven't even opened it yet. Oh, they're in cute little baggies. Okay. So this is a small retreat bag. <gasps> look, look at that fabric. Look. It is so pretty. 
Yo, look at the angel she had I on there. I know. Look Whoa. at it. Mom, can I have this angel? No, you can't have my angel. Oh my gosh. So I got one of the first kits. Oh my gosh. So it's got, it's a small retreat bag. It's got the wire rim top. It'll stand up by itself. It's also smooshable. That's a word, right? And sure. it's great for two at a time socks, hats, small object, small objects, projects. Yeah, we'll just put all my cats in Oh my gosh, but this like, this fabric is beautiful i love it it's so and then you guys just get wait for what else is included just wait okay are we gonna do this one? yes so are then we... whiskers and stitches i'm gonna open it you can hold it I'm gonna be like, oh. to go with it oh my gosh it's like or these stitch markers from whiskers and stitches yes and they are oh my look how perfectly goodness. they match the bag it's they're, the same. They're the same. You guys. The same. Okay. <laughs> they're the same like type of crystal. Yes. That's on the bag, and the colors match perfectly. Oh my gosh. They are literally just. They're so pretty. So pretty. And then, Amplifiber dyed up a sock set to match. I'm just. I can't even. And oh, sorry. I kept twinkling. You guys know how much I love. Well, if, you, if you're new, I love Amplifiber yarn. Mm -hmm. She has the, she, I mean, their yarn is just. Chef kiss. Awesome. And look at the sock set, you guys. Oh. And we all know I love purple. Look how pretty it is. And it matches oh like my gosh. everything. I want to. Look, look how well it matches. Look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh, I almost want to cry. It's so pretty. They did such a great job. Look at these lovely, beautiful, creative ladies. Oh my gosh. Oh, they just okay. So what sock set is that? Uh, crystallized sugar. <gasps> that is such a nice name. I love that. Um, and it is. Oh, oh, I can find it. The four okay. ply right there. 85% superwash, extra fine merino wool, and 15% nylon. And it's four ply. Oh, yeah. And her yarn is so plushy, soft. I love. I made two muscle burr hats out of it, mm -hmm. out of yarn from her. And I have yarn to make a, a short sleeve cardigan. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Because as soon as, basically, as soon as I get her yarn in the mail, it's like one of the few that I knit right away. Because I just, yeah, I love true. her colorways. It's so pretty. And I love her logo, Amplifiber. Like a little, little sheep. And it says what? Yarn is my jam. <laughs> I love it. Crystallized. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> it is so, they did, I can't even believe this. Like I had seen a preview of this fabric when it came in. That's it. That's all I knew. She shared. That was it. That's all I knew. I did not even know. <gasps> Whiskers and stitches on Etsy, on Instagram. I mean, look at, oh. I just... Everything and is just so it's so perfect. Perfect. Matched. Perfectly together. They worked so well together. These group of ladies work so well together to create this kit. And you guys can order it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I think I think the pre-orders are it's gonna drop for pre-order or ordering of some kind on September 15th. So it's coming up. Mm -hmm. They're gonna start releasing pictures for this. Around the time that this uh, video was posting, that's why I'm, I'm able to do this. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. And they sent me one. You, you girls are just like, you ladies are the best. I literally am like, mom was so excited when she opened the box. She was like, oh my God. And then my dad, <laughs> like my dad and I were like, okay. And I was like, okay. So you know how there was this collab <laughs> happening. <laughs> And dad and I were like, I'm not going to say anymore. It was collaboration. I'm just going to say the real word, guys. I can't say it. Uh, anyways. Yes. But as soon as I opened it and I saw this, uh, this was on top. I saw Amplifiber yarn on top. I knew exactly what this was. And mm -hmm. I was just like, they didn't even tell me they were sending it. I mean, I, and so I messaged them right away. I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys. It is so perfect. Oh, you guys did an amazing job. So there's only going to be a limited amount of these. So when it just, I would follow... And I think they may even have, I don't know how they're going to do it, but there's a limited quantity, obviously. So I, follow all of them. Yeah. Follow Amplifiber Yarn, Whiskers and Stitches, the Scrappy Angel, so they'll you'll know when it drops. And they're also going to be previewing pictures. I don't think I've ever seen a better collab. <laughs> Frick, you're kind of like... <laughs> okay. 
I can't say that anymore now. Don't worry, guys. We'll practice this like we, like we do with her sentences when she needs to slow down. It was, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be like a surprise question. It'll be like a bonus question. Bonus question. How do you, how do you shorten collaboration? I won't do it now. Jeez. What am I gonna make? And I, they can't even be normal socks. I have to make something amazing, some kind of pattern. I just love Amplifiber. You're so cute. And she smells. Or she smells. <laughs> She smells so good. Okay, sorry, Erin, that was creepy. Your yarn smells <laughs> that was amazing. creepy a little bit. I felt creeped out. Your yarn smells amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're so. And I love Whiskers and Stitches new cards. These are new. I love these. Where's the, where's the logo we helped her with? Why is that not on the card anymore? We didn't help her with the logo. We helped her decide. We helped her on the name. Oh, yes. And it wasn't like we helped her, we just voted for which one we liked better. <laughs> That was it. Back of the day. Oh my gosh. I have such lovely maker friends and they sent this to me. They are so sweet and I literally cannot wait to use it. And I like, I was really glad I got this. What was it? Yesterday? No, it was Friday. Like, it was like Friday. I got yeah. some Friday and today, no, Saturday. Cause today's Monday. Oh, well, when, where, where did we go? Saturday? Anyways, I got on go Saturday. No, it was Friday. Friday. Anyways, doesn't really matter. We got it someday, and I've been waiting to even open it because I wanted to like show you guys. And I'm gonna do like a little video too before I can open it and use it. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Go follow all of them on Instagram. That way you'll know what's happening and what's the details on all that when that's dropping. I think it's September 15th. Don't quote me. I think that's what I said, but go follow them. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think that's it for acquisitions, that correct? That's it. That All right, so dream knitting. I don't have my iPad, and it, it's glare anyway, so I'm just going to put pictures in here when I talk about dream knitting. Um, first up is the Petal Party Crop by Samantha Guerin. I think that's so great, because even for my size, mm -hmm. it is only two skeins of yarn, and I have so many. Two, I'm just I'm trying to find ways to use my stash. Yeah. And like a lot of these test knits I'm doing, I don't have even that weight because normally mm -hmm. my stash is fingering weight. I mean, I can always double it up, but then I don't have enough yardage. So it's a fingering weight and only two skeins of yarn for this really cute um, top. And actually, Brooke, I can show you because I have my phone. That way, you know, like, actually, I can hold it up too. I'm just a green. I like just a green. But you don't want to see? I probably have already seen it. Probably. You show me everything. You're like, do you want to see this new thing I'm going to make? And then before I can even answer, you're just like, yes, you do. Yes, you do. It is... Oh, I just blew right by it. This one. Oh, I like that. First of all, she's really pretty in that picture. Yeah. <laughs> all knitters are pretty. That's only two skeins of yarn from my size. I don't know if I can, like, show you guys. Oh, yeah, it does come across nice. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. I love that. Only two... In my, so, for my larger size, it usually takes me... But it's like a cropped, and it's got that extra panel lace detail, so it makes the makes it stretch out all further. Of you, all of you knitters are pretty, honestly. Oh, babe. Okay. Next is the Blueberry Pie by Sweater by... Joanna... Coonan. Coonan. I'm assuming. Sorry, Joanna, if that's not correct. I said your first name. But... That's more than, you, that's more than I could say for all the, all the other people. I saw I this... Featured. <laughs> sweater because Aro from Aro Knits and Pearls tested this sweater and it so this sweater just released I went like a week or two ago and it is so pretty like Aro made it in like this very pastel -y pink I like but that like Aro. look at the cabling detail and I'm not normally like like all this extra this is a lot of work right mm -hmm. it is super cabley and then it's like seed stitch all the way down I think but this will be one of those sweaters I want I really want to make and I just want to make it and just know it's going to take me a long time mm -hmm. to do it. And I don't even yeah. care. But I I have this vision of I really want it to be, I really loved how Aro's was very light and pastel-y. And so it was either neutral pastel. or pink. I want mine to be like a really light, light lavender. Mm -hmm. Like super light. Like, but lavender. And I keep yeah. finding lavenders that are, when I'm looking at yarn, it's too dark. So I'm just going to hold out until I find the perfect yeah. yarn for that. All right, next is the Heritage Sweater by Liv. Is that a V or a U, Mom? Liv Olven is a U. By Liv Olven. I, look at that. Wow. I know. Look at that. And I think it was on sale the other day. It might still be on sale. Um, but you can see, 
You can do it a ton of different ways. It's like an oversized sweater, but look, I should, look at that. It's That's so really cool. Pretty. It's so cool. I love that color detail. And, but it's like an oversized, like straight up and down and long. I don't know if I can like, if this one, you can really see that, but like, it's like long, which I love longer sweaters. Obviously mm -hmm. I usually make mine longer if I need to. Yeah. Anyway, so that's another one I really want to make. Oh, it's Liv Olven who goes by Woodland Knits mm. and Joanna Coonan who makes blueberry pie sweater. Soft She's power. soft power on Instagram. All right. And the next one is Vega by... Oh, I looked this up. Casa, Casa, or is that like J? Like actually J. Kaza. Kaza Borla Fredrickson. Borla. Kaza Borla Fredrickson. See, mom, mom. I looked this up. <laughs> anyway, so Vega is Kaza Borla Fredrickson. I am, I'm just, I'm trying, I'm gonna put it right here so you guys can read it, what I'm trying, my American butchering. Um, and on Instagram, it's Torn Dolls Froon. <laughs> Torn that Dolls. also be right there. Torn Dolls Froon. That's how I'm thinking. It's right here as well. Um, I really want to make this for Rhinebeck. So I, it's a cardigan and I'm worried that, um, my short sleeve tee might be too cool. Because you never know. You guys all know Ryan Beck. It's either really hot or it's really cold. Because it's in the, the second or third week of October. Keep and it's cool in New York. Them. So you never know. It's like up north a little bit. Yeah. It could be really hot. It could not be. Um, so the t-shirt might be fine. I might layer it over a long sleeve. But I might make this cardigan <laughs> to go with it. I mean, literally, Ryan Beck is in just a little over a month from now. And I'm already making... Well, I just started mm -hmm. one sweater. So this is the Vega. I thought it was like a pullover, but it's a cardigan. But look at the sleeve and Tarja on the sleeves. It's like that on each one. And it's a little bit of a crop sweater. For some reason, it gives me Winter Soldier vibes. Nice. It's really pretty. Because like he had like that middle arm. I love this. So, and it's with like bulky yarn. So I figure I could finish this pretty quickly. Because I finished my Felix pretty quickly. I just love, look at that. So I want to make that to go over my dainty line sweater mm -hmm. or I do need a third sweater. I could use this as a separate day. Like I just wear a regular t-shirt underneath and wear a cardigan is what I could do. But <laughs> I also have another sweater in mind, mm -hmm. but it's a test knit and it's not even, I can't even sign up for it until the end of this week. And who knows if I'll even get it kind of thing. But this is a test knit for, um, Sorry, Nordland. She made the cocoa tea that I really want to make. My friend Amanda has made like almost all of her summer tops. <laughs> Sorry, it's amazing. Um, this is what I want to test knit, which I don't even know if I'll get it. Look at that. It is the Luminen sweater. I love that. And what'd you say it means? I think it means snowy or something. Anyways, it's so pretty. I saw it when it was like, she posted it like this and I was like, oh, I need to make that sweater. <laughs> I just love that super wide yeah. cable braid down the front. Oh my goodness. It's really pretty. It means snowy in Finnish. Luminen. Luminen. But it's made with like super chunky wool. I think she used We Are Knitters. Super chunky wool. And oh my gosh. So that also wouldn't take much time. So it looks like a, it's a little bit cropped, maybe a little bit. But, oh, I want to wear that to Ryan Beck. Oh my goodness. But it won't even be up for testing till Friday. And so I wouldn't even find out till next week. That means I'd have like a month to make that sweater and make my other sweater and make that cardigan mm -hmm. I want to make. And we all know me, right? I'm still making my um, Sunset Highway sweater from like 2020. I'm still making it because I, I haven't worked on it. But mm. So, you know, I, it's not like I make things super fast, but it's mainly because I knit a whole bunch of things at mm -hmm. once. Yeah. But I am so hyper-focused right now. Like, I finished that dainty line. So, I mean, like, literally I did all that in, like, three weeks while doing other things. As long as I focus, like, I really want to have something for a certain amount of time, like, for a deadline. When I'm, if I'm super focused, I get stuff done, I feel like. I think three sweaters is a little optimistic, <laughs> considering I have never done that before. It's good to have, it's good to have dreams, mom. I can have goals and it's not like, 
and then I'm, or, I'm not one of those people that would be super disappointed. I'd be like, oh my gosh. And I would put, I would just try really hard to get it done, like up to the last minute. And if I didn't make it, I wear a sweater that the sleeve's not all the way done. People do that all the time. They'll like show up with like this needle still on. Like That's I didn't cool. finish. You know, they'll have like hats with like the needle still in it. So it's not even closed. That's cool. So I could do that. Uh, that. That would not bother me. But I really want to have, oh my gosh, that Luminin sweater is gorgeous. And I'm so excited about my, did I even say what my test knit was? I hope I put that below. That color, the Intarsia one, that was called a true color sweater. Oh, no, you didn't say I don't that. think I even said that. I, I would have put it down below on the screen. Um, so, yeah, this test knit would be Luminin sweater. So, cross fingers, guys, because as soon as it comes out for test knit in the Ravelry group, I am totally signing up for mm -hmm. it and hoping I can get it. If not, it's okay. I'll, I'll just make it when she releases the pattern and I'll figure out something else for Ryan Beck. I think I'll just use that other cardigan, the, the Vega cardigan, as a separate sweater. But I don't want to wear it, so then I have to figure out what to wear over my other one. You don't have to wear anything over it, just bear the cold. I can bear the cold, maybe it won't even be cold, or I'll wear a long, like a thin long sleeve underneath, mm -hmm. and that way it'll just, yeah. I think. That'd be cute. And of course you have to wear shawls and warm up and stuff like that. Okay. All right, and then also one more though, speaking of Sari Nordland, love her, um... I really want to make another dream knitting, which I don't have any real plans for, but I had it on here and I really, oh, I want to show these too. I didn't even have this on here. Chicken Scratch Socks by Lauren Colby. Oh my gosh, I need to have, I need to make these. Oh, you can't even, it's not focusing. It's focusing on your Facebook. Oh. I don't know if that helps. Sorry guys, go look it up. <laughs> I'll include a picture if it's really bad. Um, the Varma by Sorry Nordland. Okay, where is it? I I save way too much stuff because then I don't know where to find stuff. Um, right here, the short uh, the short sleeve one. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. That detail down the front. She makes a great kind of a boxy three quarter length sleeve. I could wear that with jeans. I could wear it to work. Not that I mean, from home. But that one's released too, and I really want to make that one. It's pretty. Okay, so moving on, that's all my dream knitting. And actually my dream knitting is usually like things I find that I really wanna knit, but this time it's like things that I'm actually going to probably knit like here pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> um, podcasts, other podcasts that I have highlighted that I actually had been watching for a while, but last episode we were trying to shorten it even though it wasn't that long. It's cause it I was speed talking. Well, it was also cause we were also in a rush cause we had to do stuff, so. Uh, Professor Pearl is new. I think she has like three episodes out. She's cool. Nicole, she is a professor, obviously. Um, but she's on sabbatical right now, like taking a break to do, you think of Ross and Friends? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Brooke is like, like Ross and Friends. It's a real thing. Companies will, you can put, you go on sabbatical and like apparently for professors, um, you take a, it's a year of rest, but also a year of research, which was to go did back she, and she do something? research. No, no, no. She, you choose to like my friend, um, Brown, she took a sabbatical like three months. It's like, they give you, it's like a perk. They give you a break if they, you've worked a lot and you need some time and you're That's like, cool. yeah. So it's really cool that companies do that. Anyways, so she taking a year off to, she got like a young daughter and, um, Anyways, she's really cool. I got, I need to order David's tea now because she drinks it and it looks amazing. So thank you for that, Nicole. Go check her out. She's really, she's really great. Uh, these other two are old ones for me, but I don't think I've ever mentioned them because they were taking a break. Um, so the first one is Filena. Her name is actually Felicia. She's a DC person, a DC civil rights attorney. Ooh, how cool is that? Um, I don't think you have talked about her before. Yeah, but she only had two episodes, and so I wasn't really mentioning her because I wasn't sure if she was, because it had been off for a month, so I wasn't sure if she's going to come back. But she just released one a month ago, released one a month ago, and it's great. Go check her out. I love all of her. She's so much knitting, and I love her color choices and her project choices, and she's a great person. So go check out her podcast, Finalina. I'm going to put it right here. Um, and then also, Alana Knits is back. So... Back when I first started watching podcasts, Alana Knits, I think I found her through Happy Knits because they live local um, and she's really cute and adorable and I loved all of her projects she was doing and so, but she hadn't posted in like eight months. She hadn't released one. So I wasn't really, I didn't know she was going to keep doing it. Well, she just like this week released her like 
latest episode. So go check out Alana Nitz. She's great. Um, so that's it for podcast so far. Um, before we get to the knit along, I want to tell you about what I'm reading. So because apparently I'm not watching reading. If you guys know on Amazon Prime, they just released the, they're releasing the Wheel of Time series. It's this old, well not old, but this older book series. There's like 15 books or something. I only, as soon as it came on TV, I was like, oh my gosh, Dave, my dad, your, my dad, Damon, your dad read that series. I remember because he was reading it before I even met him. And then I was sending him the latest books to Iraq, whatever they were released when mm -hmm. he was deployed for the military. And so that's like the only series I know he, he was super obsessed with. I was like, oh my gosh, they're making a Wheel of Time series. You know, this is amazing. So we just watched the preview. They just dropped the preview for it. So good. It gave me Game of Thrones vibes, but like Witcher vibes. Witcher too. vibes, because there's magic. Oh my gosh. So cool. So of course, I'm like, maybe I, because I think it's coming out in November. But like, maybe I should read, because I asked him, like, do you have the first few books because I know he kept most of them but I guess he borrowed the first few books so he didn't have them so we ordered them got them in the mm -hmm. mail um and so I'm gonna read they're really big I'm gonna read they're really big because I also knit guys I I'm a I love to read I love but I can reading. only do one hobby at a time guys I work full-time so it's like I only have time for one hobby that's why I was doing audiobooks it was really great because I was knitting while I was reading I could do the audiobook wise, but a really long kind of in-depth book. I, I need to I see like, the words. I, I don't really like audiobooks. I don't I don't know why I don't like them. For because well my grandfather he used to have audiobooks in the car when he was driving. And the voice that he had using the audiobooks, I don't know why, but it would make me like nauseous. <laughs> like I would feel like I want like I would feel so sick. I would have like the worst headache every single time he had like this guy oh, talking. That's not it good. was so bad. So that just ruined audiobooks for me. I cannot stand audiobooks. But I mean, if you like audiobooks, you can do audiobooks. But I just like holding them. I like holding the books. I do like holding the books. So this is the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan. It's really, it's really cool, guys. Um, it even says right here, soon to be a Prime video. That's cool. Yeah. Um, so we got the first three, so I'm going to read through it. I think the first season, Damon looked it up. Because I was like, which one? Which book is it? It's the first two books are in the first season. So I, I got to read the first two, two books. <laughs> two, and knit 10 sweaters for my back. <laughs> I mean, like, seriously. But I give you, hey, I give you five bucks why dad started reading this book series. Just look at this. What, what, why would dad grab this book to read it? Just look at this. Mm -hmm. What do you see here that would make dad read the words? dad half when he was like a teenager oh because it's like very like oh um the no the, look up here oh the middle <laughs> name his middle name <laughs> that's his middle name yeah. so i literally looked at this i was like it's tor fantasy right tor and i was like did you start reading this because your middle name is tor and he looked at me and he's like yes. <laughs> and i was like how how much do i know you I was like, is this why you grab? Because you're like, why would a guy grab a book? Is That's it is it because is it because your middle name is on here? They think it was made for them. So my husband's name is Damon Tor. His middle name is Tor. Oh my gosh, it was so funny. So yeah, I was like, uh, that's funny. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting, Dad. Interesting, Interesting how. Dad. I mean, I I buy wine from the label. I guess Dad picked out a book for his own. His it's like, hey, my middle name's on there. I have to read that. <laughs> So anyways, yeah, so go, wish me luck on this. I got to get this done by November. I have seen, I actually have read a book before. I don't know what book it was, but it was because it was your <gasps> name. My name. It, it, it was Kimberly Ann. I mean, any other Kimberleys out there, most Kimberleys are Kimberly Ann. And actually, there was quite a few Kimberleys in my high school. I we were not. all Kimberly Ann except for one. And she was Kimberly Dawn. <laughs> and we're like, that's cool. Like Dawn, as in like yeah. morning, yeah. D-A-W-N. Dawn. And like... Everyone else is Kimberly Ann. I think that's like a requirement. See, I have not met a single Kimberly in my entire life, except for you. That's because it's only my generation's name. No, you played lacrosse against somebody. Oh, they Kimberly. announced it, and there was Kimberly. a Kimberly, and I was like, <gasps> there was I Kimberly. never hear that name. She was a goalie. With she was a youths. goalie. <laughs> with with the youths. <laughs> the youths. The youths of today do not have the name Kimberly anymore. So I always am shocked. I'm like. Because, like, we're not, like, the older ladies' names, like, Ruth or Agatha or whatever. Mm. But, like, we're, like, in this in-between. Probably because I grew up... That's why you don't hear a lot of Jennifers, either. Do you know a lot of Jennifers? I don't know. I, I knew, like, a bazillion Jennifers. I just I read a Catherine. 
I don't know a single I Catherine. Feel like that's... And she like told me her name. She's like, yeah, I'm Catherine. I'm like, I don't know a single Catherine. She's really? Like, really? You probably know him as Kate, Katie. Mm, probably. Um, yeah, so now, okay. Last up, our sock along, you guys. It was so great. I went Wait, through and I shared. Yes, on the end of August. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I put on stories, I highlighted everybody in our stories that finished a pair of socks. How many socks were finished, Brooke? 25. 25 pairs of socks, you guys, for our very first sock along. That yeah, was so pretty cool. Pretty impressive. And multiple people had more than one sock. Mm -hmm. I was pretty impressed. Wait, did you count, like, that or did you count how many people finish a sock? No, how many socks? Okay, so it's not 25 people. No, 25 socks. More people might have, um, like, done it, but mm -hmm. only 25 were finished. So, yeah, it's really exciting. So, we have four prizes. Um, I, I'm going to pause right here while I go and get them because I forgot to grab them. I'm going to show them. So, pause. Okay. So, our giveaway winners will receive one each because there's going to be four winners when you each get one skein of yarn. First up is Amplifiber. We know you, I love Amplifiber, right? This one's called Pink Moon. Brooke, do you want to hold it up? That was donated by Amplifiber to the podcast for a giveaway. And the rest is from my stash. Next up is Knit Knitology. Oh, Knitology. I thought it was Knit What? Knitology. Back when I had Knit Crate. So pretty. What's it called? I don't know. No, no. Oh, Rufus Backed Kingfisher. Mm -hmm. And then we have Ancient Arts, Socknado. What's, yeah. what's, the, what's the color called? Ships of Desert. I think this was like a monthly colorway they had. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, what's the difference between desert and dessert? I'm sure it's desert. Desert. Okay, that's what I Dessert has two S's. That's what I thought. It's really pretty. I love that one. And then, of course, we guys talked about um, uh, the August Yarnable. Sweet and sour. So those are the four giveaway prizes, and I haven't even, tonight we're going to draw, so I'm going to put the names of our winners right here. Congratulations! <laughs> Yay! Thank you so much for participating. Thank you, and go ahead and email me your mailing address and your name, and we'll go ahead and get you yours, your prize, and... Will be a surprise. It'll be a surprise. Yeah. Whatever you get in the mail is what we drew for you. Because we're going to draw, like, I'm going to hold this one. I'll be like, hey, we're going to draw for this one. It'll be fun. And that will be what you get. So, yay. And you only win once. So, those will have multiple entries. Just have multiple chances to win. But if your name gets drawn, then I will remove you from mm -hmm. the... So, we get... Like, there will be four winners. So Four different winners. You have a one out of four chance. You yay. have a 25% chance of winning. Good job, Brooke. <laughs> So yay, congratulations. Thank you for participating in the Summer Melt Sock Along 2021. Wait, we'll have one for next year. Yeah, probably. But I think that's it, Brooke, right? Yeah, that's it. Anything else you wanted to say? Nope. Sorry, our makeup's really pretty. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that's it. And um, we'll see you in about two weeks. We'll yeah. see how many sweaters I get done, <laughs> if any. And we'll see you next time. All right. Bye. bye. bye.